everyone. Today we're going to talk about creating and managing multidimensional raster data in ArcGIS Pro. Multidimensional data is data that is collected over multiple times, depths, or heights. And multidimensional raster data is often used in oceanography, climate analysis, and agriculture. ArcGIS Pro provides a suite of tools and capabilities for visualizing, analyzing, and sharing multidimensional raster data. Just look up multidimensional analysis in our help documentation and you'll find prediction tools, change detection tools, and more. But how do you start working with multidimensional raster data and how do you manage it? Well, a lot of organizations already have access to NetCDF, GRIB, or HDF files, but how do we convert that to a format that can be used in ArcGIS Pro? Or maybe you have a stack of images or rasters that have been collected over time, but how do you get that into a format that can be used in our multidimensional analysis tools? There are three main ways to create multidimensional raster data. The first is from a single NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB file. The next is from a collection of those types of data files. And the third is from a stack of images or rasters that have been collected over time. This video will focus on generating a multidimensional raster from a collection of NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB files. So here I have a folder containing multiple NetCDF files. Each one has daily maximum temperature data for a single year, and I want to merge several of these into a single multidimensional raster so that I can have daily max temperature data for multiple years. To do that, we're going to add them to a mosaic dataset. So we'll create a new empty mosaic dataset using the Create Mosaic Dataset tool, give it a name, and keep all the other default parameters. When it's created, we can go ahead and add rasters to this mosaic dataset. And we'll set the raster type to NetCDF or HDF or GRIB, depending on your data input. And this is what tells the tool what kind of files to look for and also how to process these files in the output data set. So we can browse to the location of our NetCDF files. I'll just select four and click open. And I can do some post-processing. Um, I can also select the raster type properties button to take a look at which variables will be included. And this is especially helpful if my NetCDF data has many variables, but I only want one or two. When it's finished, you can take a look at the Mosaic dataset properties and see that it, it already has this multidimensional information cooked in. So we see the variable listed there and the standard time uh, dimension also. Now, you may have noticed that the Mosaic dataset displays as this big block of color instead of on a gradient, and that's because we didn't choose to perform any of the raster processing or Mosaic post-processing when we added data to our Mosaic dataset. And depending on your goals, that might be just fine. If you only need a dataset for cataloging, or if you're going to use it as an analysis tool that will generate a new output, maybe you don't need better visualization. I went ahead and calculated statistics on my dataset, and then I zoomed in on Florida to just get a nicer display. Now, if we look at the attribute table for our footprint layer, we can see that all the rasters were added to the dataset. And you can also see that this attribute table has a variable field here that tells us the name of our variable. We have a standard time field and we have a dimension field which tells us the name of the dimension in our dataset. Because all of these fields exist, the Mosaic dataset is multidimensional aware, which is why we can interact directly with the multidimensional tab at the top of our project. We can also launch um, some of the analysis tools from this tab or from the toolbox. And you can use the Mosaic dataset as a direct input to some of these tools. For example, the aggregate multidimensional raster tool. Now all of the analysis tools generate an output in cloud raster format, which is Esri's native multidimensional raster format. If you want to take advantage of the capabilities of the cloud raster format file, you might choose to convert your Mosaic dataset to cloud raster format using the copy raster tool. Here we will enter the Mosaic dataset as the input, specify the output as a cloud raster format file, and check the box to process as multidimensional. Optionally, you can also check the box to build a multidimensional transpose, 
which is an efficient data storage option that is only available for cloud raster format. When the tool finishes, you will have a multidimensional raster in cloud raster format with all the variables and dimensions that you have in this Mosaic dataset. In this video, you saw how to add multiple multidimensional NetCDF files into a multidimensional Mosaic dataset in ArcGIS Pro. From there, you can use the Mosaic dataset directly in analysis tools, or you can convert it to cloud raster format to get access to additional capabilities. If you only have one NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB file that you want to use with multidimensional raster tools, or if you have a stack of images that you want to use in a single multidimensional raster, check out the other Creating Multidimensional Raster videos on this channel.